Good morning, friends, and happy Mask Monday. Um, this is the mask I'm going to be using, the Aloe Soothing Mask Pack, and um, I really like it. I got it from Allure in my Allure box if you watched that video. If you've not, go back and watch that um, recent June Allure box. Um, I'm not going to put it on in the video. I have worn it. I love it. They gave me two in that box. Um, because the um, the rest of the jewelry box tour, because I continued on from my third drawer all the way down, and because it's kind of long, like um, I didn't want to take the time of putting the mask on and talking about the mask and for a long time and all that. So I just want to let you know, this is a mask I'm going to be wearing. I do recommend it. It is very soothing, and um, I love the aloe. And um, if you see this on Amazon or wherever or in a lure box, I would definitely recommend using it. And um, I hope y'all enjoy it. If you've used it and you like it or dislike it, comment down below and let me know. Um, tell me what you like it about it or don't like about it. And uh, I'll take you guys on over to the uh, jewelry box tour. Stay with me. Okay, friends, so we're back at the jewelry box and we are in our drawer number three. Let's see, so um, this charm here, my husband had bought me, um, sorry about the lighting guys, um, my husband had bought me several years ago, like when we were dating, it came on a necklace, um, but yeah, that was a long, long time ago, not pretty, so I can switch it in and out with my necklaces, different charms, and then these he bought me. Remember the diamond tennis bracelets, guys, that everybody always wore? So I've had these for a long, long time, and he didn't realize it. <laughs> but he actually bought me the same one in a gold and a silver, like just a year or two apart or a couple years apart. So those are the three diamond tennis bracelets. And then in here I just have like a little boxes, you know, I save, um, put jewelry in, those are like my... Um, Alex and Ani uh, bags and then um, this is like a wrap bracelet that you can put with your watch or wear it alone it's really pretty I like, I like to wear it like in the summertime this um, a man who was former military had came up to my daughter now when she was really little and um, was talking to us an older gentleman and he gave this to her he found out you know we were military my husband was military and um he gave that to her so she thought that coin since she was probably like three or four years old she was really young so i keep it in here for safekeeping until she's older and then years ago a friend of mine got me this at a um at a christian concert we were at it was actually like a um it was in Ocean City, Maryland, and they were having, we had taken the youth there. Um, it was a big worship weekend in, at a conference in Ocean City, Maryland, and they had um, <clears throat> items for sale, and she bought that for me. It's really pretty. <clears throat> and my mom, I think, had given me these years ago. I think. Um, <clears throat> and that same friend had given me this bracelet as well. It's like a turquoise. And then my in-laws had went on a mission trip and brought this back along with um, the earrings. I don't think there was a necklace. Yeah. And let's see. <clears throat> That's just a love note my husband had written me years ago. And down below is a, um, a memory card from when my friend Dawn had passed away that I keep. And then this is my... Um, daughter's dedication. I keep it in there. And then I have my son's as well. And then those are just the boxes for um, my Apple Watch. The uh, ones I had showed you guys previously. And then these are this rose my son had gotten me when he was a little boy. Um, it came with a little pair of earrings. Of course my mom had you know gotten it, bought it, and then said here you know give this to your mommy. And then this one my daughter had given me this one. And speaking of my daughter, this was her little pearl bracelet when she was a little girl. It's kind of stretched out now. 
over the years. And then <clears throat> I had got that made for my husband at like a fair or a carnival. And this I honestly don't know. I've had this for a really long time. I don't know where I got that at. This one, I was really disappointed in the, <clears throat> I guess because I didn't keep it in the bag and it kind of faded. But it's an Alex and Ani one. And it just says, live a good life. And then these are my daughter's first pair of oh, little glasses. And I kind of keep them. Eventually I'll turn them in. Um, you know, you can turn your glasses in. And people, Children and people in other countries get them. So I need to do that. Um, this box here. Um, it says, embrace your faith. An unspoken treasure, it comes from the heart and will last forever. And my son um, had gotten me this necklace, and it came in that box. And then these are just my Alex and Ani bracelets. And then these bracelets my mom had given me a long, long time ago. I think she got them in a yard sale or something. And then um, this bracelet here my sister-in-law had given me. And um, it has a Lord's Prayer on it. Those are my shoes when I was a little girl. And that's just a box to my watch that has showed you all that my um, mother-in-law had gotten for me. And then these are um, my son and daughter's first visit to Disney World. And um, I keep those little keepsakes because I'm a very sentimental person. I know not everybody is, and that's okay if you're not sentimental. I know people disagree with that. But it's okay if you're not sentimental because not everybody is. And not everybody has matured enough to be sentimental. Um, it takes a while, you know. Some of us just always are. It's just in us, ingrained in us. And some of us it takes a little longer. And it's okay. So just putting that out there. And then these, oh my goodness, I got years ago. Y'all remember these? Look at that, 1993. Um, this one was King's Dominion, probably, definitely before that one, and this one was Ocean City, and they have the photos in them, and you look in them, and then you can see the pictures, so I'm in there with some friends, and then, um, this one is the mother bracelet, I'm trying to focus it so you can see it, um, I had bought in one, they come in a set, one for my daughter and one for I, so one says mother and one says daughter, and then these, check these out guys, these are actual shark teeth that um, we had gathered in a beach um, in Florida um, years ago when the kids were younger, when my husband was um, doing school there and we, we lived there for a little while. And um, yeah, we collected some really cool shark teeth. So that was really cool. And then um, this is just a little jewelry box that's a travel jewelry box and has a K on it. And um, you put your rings or whatever in there, and then this pulls out. Um, try to get the pull out. And then that pulls out, and you have extra space down there. So yeah, this is nice to travel with. A nice little teeny one, you know. If you need a, maybe you need a teeny tiny one. I need to put those shark teeth in like a little container or a little bag. And then. Um, this little handheld radio I've had for a long, long time. That's my cord to my Fitbit. Those are some extra uh, Apple Watch um, pieces. Those are some, those are my son and daughter's coins from when they were little. And this is just a little um, case. I think, I want to say my mother in law had got us all those when several years back at like Christmas time. It says, Jesus, Jesus, the sweetest name I know. Amen. And on, I just put like little, little knickknack things in there that I've had over the years. Like little coins. And like this badge was from when I taught VBS years ago in West Virginia. This little monkey my daughter gave me. A little necklace. Just little things, you know, kids have given me over the years. It's, like I said, sentimental. And then this. There's all kinds of little things in here. Like my son had given me this when he was little. It's a little angel ring. Of course, that's precious to me, you know. Um, and then I'll try to move back for you. 
And another flag necklace or uh, pin. That's from 2001, guys. And my mom had given me this. She used to, when my mom um, was able to go to church, she would always put pins on her dresses. Always, always, always. I don't, I'm trying to think. I don't think she ever put one this one on, but um, I guess she had found it or somebody had given it to her. So she gave it to me. And then this one she had given me. That's really pretty. My cousin years ago had given me this one. And my baby girl had made this for me years ago. And another pin my mom had given me. She always wore that on her, her dresses too. Just all kinds of little things. Well, Y'all know I said I used to be really into wearing, uh, having dolphins and dolphin jewelry and collecting dolphin statues. So that was a dolphin ring I got years ago at a jewelry store at the beach. Hey, these little pieces are from <laughs> Monopoly game. Um, over the years, the game for moving and stuff got lost, but um, that's Elvis's pink Cadillac <laughs> from the Elvis Monopoly game. And there's the B for Bella. I want to say my dad got that for her. And then these are little, this is a footprint print, a footprint pin, a little um, brooch you can wear. And these are the, this is the actual size of a baby's footprint at like, I want to say six weeks in the womb. So these are um, anti-abortion pin. That's what, what this, what this is from. Um, Someone had given me this. I don't know if I went to a rally or <clears throat> I was somewhere and someone walked up to me. Honestly, it's sad, but I can't remember. Um, this is when we went to Disney World. Or was that Disneyland? No, I'm pretty sure that was Disney World. When my son and I had went to Disneyland years ago in California. But my daughter and my son and I and our family and my in-laws had went to Disney World in Florida. And this is a little shoe. I can't remember if that was Avon or not. I, I want to say it was Avon, but that's my um, son's birth stone, which actually is my husband's birth stone as well, the ruby. So I saved that. And you know, I can, like I said, I can put all these on my, um, any of my necklaces. And then there's the footprints in the sand. Because always remember, I have this with you. And then last but not least, down here, got some extra boxes. When my husband um, was away in another country, it was my birthday and of course he couldn't be with me. So he sent me this, this little cute little box and I just use it for storage to put stuff in. There's are actually like all my daughter's, I wanna say my son and my daughter's um, tags from when they were in elementary school. They could, um, this thing is like full of them. Um, but every time you did something wonderful, whether it was like a principal award or a PE award or a, you know, like an honor roll award, they have a lot of those, art award, anything like that, um, they give you the tags and there's a chain that goes with it. And so this thing is full for my son and daughters when they were, son and daughter when they were little. Um, but yeah, this little box is so precious because like I said, it means a lot to me. It's so pretty, but also it means a lot to me because it was my, um, my husband was away in another country and he couldn't be with me on my birthday and he sent this had this shipped to me um or sent to me and it had a flower in it so that was really special and then this is just a little jewelry box same little jewelry box to keep those um this was a little car both of my kids when they were really 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 little made these for me painted these so they're really special and I keep them in my bag to kind of preserve them y'all know that kind of stuff fades over the years so I try to preserve them this is Mexican money when I was in Mexico years ago um so just a peso here and then the Mexican coins gosh that was so long ago but yeah that's my uh jewelry um Box tour. That is the end of it. You guys have seen it from week to week. So next week I'll have to think of something more creative to do with my Mess Monday. If you guys have any ideas, 
please let me know. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, safe, blessed day and week ahead. And until next time, bye y'all.